In this section, we're going to take a look at metric units of area. Um, so in the American system, remember we had square inches, square feet, square yards, and so on. Uh, and in the metric system, we have square meters, square centimeters, square millimeters, and, and, and similar units like that. Um, and then also in the American system, we had the acre. right? And we kind of have an equivalent here in the metric system. We have the air and the hectare. So, um, so you can kind of draw an analogy between um, those two measurements. Um, now in the example it says how many hectares are in 28,000 square meters. So let's start by just writing out our 28,000 square meters. And now let's take a look at uh, what we have up here for equivalencies. Um, the only thing hectares are equated to our errors and so um, we can't directly go from square meters to hectares but we do know how many square meters are in one air so we'll use that first and get to errors and then that will allow us to move into hectares so since I'm trying to cancel out my square meters I'll put that on bottom and put my one air on top and so that's 100 square meters in one air. Sorry, that's a little bit sloppy there. One air is what I want on top. All right, so my square meters are going to cancel. But now I need to go from airs to hectares. So I need airs on the bottom so they cancel and hectares on top and I know that there are 100 errors in one hectare. Okay, so we have a situation where we have 28,000 on top and on bottom we have 100 times 100 so that's 1 followed by 4 zeros and there's our hectares. So now we just need to simplify that. Since there are three zeros on top, I can cancel that with three of the zeros on bottom. So that leaves me to just 28 divided by 10. And we know that when we're dividing by a power of 10, you just move the decimal point back um, the same number of places as zero. So there's only one zero left down here. So I move it back one place, giving me 2.8 hectares.